Hey guys, Suru here with not a bit for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about new tool from Hardops, which is a new curve modifier. And if you don't use Hardops and you would like to, there's a link in the video description to the bundle of Hardops and Box Color. Grab it because it's amazing. And if you want to learn how to use Hardops and Box Color, then we have a course, Blender Bros course on hard ups and box other tools and the full modeling tutorial so go ahead and grab it as well it should teach you how to use these tools in no time so normally when you try to deform something in blender you want to start with a suicide pact or at least some kind of a plan of suicide i know the fun boy is gonna come in and bash me but i don't give a fuck but if you do it with hard ups it's easy guys because all you do is rescale this and you know and then you just make it a bit longer just like in real life and control a and apply scale and then apply some bevel to it right and then control four or three whatever to add some subdivision and then you go to uh, q menu and add lattice not screw that's what i want to do <laughs> add lattice here and then click again q menu and let's add i don't know two segments or three whatever Go to edit mode, press B for selection, then you can deform your mesh very easily, right? Intuitively. Well, let's delete that. And I want to show you a different method, it's pretty cool. So now the new curve modifier you access through modifiers. So just like lattice, you see on the bottom curve. And you will see that curve being added here, um, like a widget. When you press F9, uh, you will see a new menu popping up. If you hold control, you can scroll through the axis and you can see that the widget is you know changing direction now make sure you're gonna pick one that you know that you really want to stick with um because you can't recall that menu again that's a blender limitation nothing to do with hard ups and subdivisions here you can choose how many points you want on that uh, curve it's normally a three so you add in some additional ones if you go to edit mode now each of these points is gonna be a curve bezier curve right so you can just you know start deforming rotating whatever the hell you want with it mesh let's add some more subdivision here um let's just subdivide this properly so do something like this there we go that's better um this one is a little bit maybe too uh, too elevated so let's drop it down a bit because it's clipping and there you go that's better select these two and gz you know and do something like this you can come up with some really interesting shapes right you know you could extend it rotate it whatever the hell you want right so it's pretty awesome let's select the shape make it a bit longer uh, like this and you know there you go so um cool stuff and then on top of this of course you can add lattice so it could be you know could, could become really interesting right so let's add some lattice here and uh, let's just you know add this maybe you could add it on z-axis something like this and let's go to edit mode select these and move them to let's say the right something or maybe move the top ones to the right let's select the top ones right and accept these two there you go and you could for example rotate it maybe like this and move it to the right so gx you know create something like this which is pretty awesome so you can create some really crazy stuff with with this okay um and you can also use smart shapes from hard up so let's grab a screw for example which is this one let's move it in here and let's hold control to activate smart modifiers and then we can adjust you know different things on that screw by simply moving the dots so I hold control and I simply I adjust it right, there, right so you have something like this now we can add the um, you can add the um, curve modifier so it's at the curve modifier and again press f9 change the you know the axis if you want to and we could actually have less fewer of these points let's say two and then you know we could have some fun here deforming this you know creating some kind of a cool cable here like that but anyway you know you can have you can have a lot of fun with this and create some interesting interesting shapes let's just rotate this a little bit and there you go i got a telephone cable from 1980s um, so you could do this with literally anything i'm pretty sure it's gonna work with pipes but you can try this so let's grab a cube and let's move it in here let's select all these edges and um actually let's create something like this that's kind of cool select this one and let's curve extract it a little bit 
and move it in here so this is a curve let's see if it's gonna work click on curve extract one more time s and one to subdivide it and then we're going to add curve to it so um we're going to press ctrl a and apply visual to mesh we're probably gonna have to add some you know some more segments here and here and we can copy to the other side of this mesh machine and then let's uh, go to modifiers and add curve and let's just uh, see what we can do here so uh, press f9 and let's change the axis okay and then we're probably gonna be able to deform it further so you know do something funny with it like that which is quite interesting right and then control one or two and you got this kind of a situation so you know some kind of a motorcycle tube i mean the um, exhaust or whatever uh, muffler so you know a lot of possibilities and different kind of usages but it's pretty bloody amazing and you don't really need sub d you can do it with dice so you know you could you could just have dice on it so let's go to operations and sorry mesh, mesh tools and dice and let's dice it you know on both uh, or maybe on all three axes like that and then let's just extend it a bit apply scale and then we can apply the curve so modify a curve and let's flip it to you know to the z axis and you know then you can start modifying this one right um, a little bit so g x and do something like this you know with your mesh of course this mesh is really fat so it's gonna clamp but you could probably stretch it a little bit it's gonna be fine there you go and you can create some crazy shapes with it as well so anyway maybe some damaged pillar something that's bent you know something that was i don't know impacted and it's you know some i don't know some kind of a um damaged piece of uh, you know some kind of a building bridge whatever the fuck but you know there's, there's a lot of ways you can use this thing so i think it's a pretty cool tool and like i said links to hard ups and box are in the video description so um if you don't have them grab them don't make me come to your place and slap you. Just, you know, don't be stupid, work smart, yeah? Thanks for watching, see you later.